The overall goal of this combined carbon dioxide flux, radiocarbon content, and zone of influence modeling method is to track in situ petroleum-derived contaminant degradation using the depleted radiocarbon signal in the carbon dioxide, a final degradation product. This method can help answer key questions in the bioremediation and environmental assessment fields, such as how much contaminant is being degraded on site, either through natural attenuation or in conjunction with engineered remediation approaches. The main advantage of this technique is that it relies on measuring the carbon deriving from the actual contaminant backbone, rather than making multiple indirect measurements as lines of evidence. The method allows calculating the actual in-situ biodegradation rate. For the field installation, prepare the air pumps as follows. First, drill a hole into the pump housing for a short piece of 1 16th inch diameter plastic gas impermeable tubing. Insert a 5 to 6 inch length of tubing into the hole. Then. Seal all external parts of the pump with marine sealant, followed by a coat of silicone sealant. Next, pressure test the sealed pumps, gently blow in the tubing while blocking the outflow. Next, prepare a carbon dioxide trap for each collection well and a control. Weigh out 25 grams of sodium hydroxide in a 100 milliliter serum bottle. Cap the serum bottle with a septum and crimp it tightly. Now, attach the electrical leads. In the field,